All right, so what, what do we see now? All right, we got keep it coming with the, with the new newcomers. New characters, yep, man. I got, love it. Icy ice versus. Climbers. Yeah, this oh, is Hama. Great. Okay, so Hama is actually a um, arms player. Okay. Uh, shout outs to uh, Springman. I've missed him already. Springman, a player? No, Springman in arms. What, what do you mean you miss him? Did, he, did they take him out of the game? No, he was. Everyone thought he'd be in the game for sure. Oh. <laughs> As an arms character, but instead he is definitely not. Isn't arms a Nintendo rep too, or like a Nintendo game yes. too? That's it's very a, they, weird that they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Instead that's they awesome. gave him a Echo Fighter, or not Echo Fighter. They gave him a Spirit? costume, and uh, you know he's a cost. Uh, he's a uh, assist trophy, and Ribbon Girl's a uh, not an Echo Fighter, but a uh, costume. Gotcha. Okay. But have you have you seen good? Belmonts yet because I, boy they are annoying. Yes, I've seen annoying Belmonts. I don't know about good Belmonts because at the moment it doesn't, at least from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like Belmonts have figured out like um, a really good surefire optimal way of playing rather than just throw, let me just throw stuff. Uh, but that, that might be optimal. They can throw stuff and their F tilt's gonna kill eventually, so why wouldn't you? Yeah, look at that. That, already going that to, might have killed. Yeah, he's already like, and it's safe. It's safe for him to do that against a slow character like Ice Hammer. Unless Ice Hammer was to, like hop their iceberg or something, but I don't know. Oh yeah, that move also kills him absurdly early. I also want to see if S-Stock uh, has his desync down. Ah! Um, there are a few handy tricks you can do to, to desync Ice Climbers, um, and I don't, I haven't seen him use any of them yet, uh, but, but we'll see it happen. Sometimes yeah. it just happens accidentally. Like right now they're desync. Absolutely. And you're actually seeing, uh, you are seeing S-Stock playing the Nana variation of Oh wow, up to up there is a thing looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I think he hot jumped into that. Hey, I didn't look true, but it's not. Oh, but he's dead. Alright, yep, that's uh I mean I would like to tell him that pairing would help, but no. Yeah. Pairing, you still not getting in on Belmont when he does that stuff. Also a lot of players just still ooh, okay, that invincibility from that throw gonna either it's either the invincibility from the throw or Popo took with it. Not entirely sure. Uh oh, up this, wow, that yeah. was up to shield pressure. Sure. Didn't know it hit horizontally. Good jab. Oh, they were decent for a small yep. moment there. Ooh. Yeah, you Someone can it. Someone shouted more projectiles. <laughs> that is definitely uh, uh, Hatsu. Yeah. Hatsu's over there going in. Yeah, I hear him. Hatsu's going yeah. nuts. That's, yeah. that's a classic right there. God, this character is so... Yeah, yeah and then you can just break zone just really quickly like that while you're worried about everything else. So what I'm already enjoying about this set is that it's looking much more closer than the other three sets we've seen so far. This is yeah. a more even uh, matchup in uh, player skill level, I think. Which, again, oh. nothing on oh, God. Popo is dead. Yeah, Popo's out of here. Uh, it's going to be a, a solo Ice Climber duty now, which... So <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that almost kind of like, I feel like Ice Climber players have this thing where as soon as they lose one of the pair, their brain's starting to mush. Because what he just did was like... Extremely unsafe. He just floated yeah. over Hama's head, like the Hama's head. It said, "Hit me oh, with whatever you that got." Took it yeah, he's going for these up tilt up airs. But uh, down throw, not going to confirm anything. Yeah, see, old ice climbers would have been able to confirm out of that, but uh, Sakurai but, uh, saying, "I don't want you okay. both to be able to move." Come on, Vicky. Okay, the tricky mix-up down tilt. And Ice Climber's going, uh, I mean, S-Tox going for all these kills off the top, uh -huh. where if you're trying to kill Belmont, you really just need to put him off the side and then oh, try to go for a gimp. Because his recovery is terrible. I mean, he's got kind of tether, but... Oh, uh, it's a booty tether. Right, you're still pretty vulnerable during parts of it, isn't he? Oh, yep. Again, zone breaking. Okay. Oh, but how do you get off the ledge against this character? Yeah. I was worried All he was going to go. Field and run up up smash, he does it. Wow, okay. Yeah, and a good up smash, only having taken 60% on this final stock for uh, S stock. But Hama here. has no reason to approach it this time. He can still continue to press him with these projectiles. So, the interesting application of Belmont's uh, down tilt, I've been noticing, is that they used to just to create more definitely distance. Just Ooh, okay, yeah, we definitely saw a ah! decent attempt coming in there. Yeah. Oh, we. Right, now we're just getting. Oh, we got. Chambers? Chambers. Oh, wait. That was cute. That was actually really nice and almost gave them the percent lead. Yeah. S-Stock showing some signs of life here. Ice Climbers do poo-poo damage out, man. They get a hands on yeah. you. you can, oh, back there. Popo's going out there to help her out. Yep, I think a very important thing, and this is the reason why I've been scared of the Ice cool. so far, is oh, that you have, to, you have to ah! recover properly with him. Yes. It's not as easy as just press up B or press side B. If one of the Ice Climbers is too far away from yeah. you, the other one is useless. Oh, man, he keeps running away. He's going to break zone again with down B. Oh, runs up. Up air. Oh, he goes for forward air instead. He's off stage. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna let him back though. Okay, he probably thought ah. he was fine. Oh, that's gonna kill him. That's he's not bringing it back. So far. Oh, it's too far. And that's going to be. Essok takes game one. After fighting Kuma Devison almost the entire <laughs> time, he, that only game one. 
But despite how long that was, and that down tilt gonna do just enough to push him too it's far. It's crazy that this game is campier than Smash 4 already. <laughs> it is! And part of it is because of the characters they added to the game. Like, they made Link somehow more campy, they put Villager in, they put two Belmonts, and they added another Samus. Like, you have ugly characters like K. Rule that I don't even want to he approach. He can't sue, yeah. I don't want to go near him, he's ugly. Dude, I, I really love that that is what this game is turning into. It's getting to a point where people, it's almost like spitting in the face of everyone who's saying, ha, Smash 4 is so campy, but now we have this super aggressive game. Uh, no, uh, it is If anything, it's going to amplify the two different sides. Uh, I think like, I think campy playstyles get more rewarded for being more campy, and aggressive playstyles get more rewarded for being aggressive. Well, it's just weird. Not, it's a weird, I, uh, I, Yeah, maybe. If you do it right. If you you can't play I, stupid aggressive anymore. If you play Chrome, you can play <laughs> stupid aggressive. Dude, did you see that tweet? It was like, I'm not going to describe it too much because it's a little graphic, but it was like, my face when, uh, the, no, the face when, uh, oh. when, cr when, when Shorty's button mash on my shield, and it was like a dude from the Simpsons in the corner, and like, I was like dancing on him. Hey, look at this, random <laughs> battlefield. So good. Okay, so, there is no, no Belmont counter pick here, we're sticking with, uh, good old Simon, uh, but we are also on a, on a triplat. This is, uh, this is gonna be brutal, because... How do you, do you like? He can literally sit under these platforms and not do anything. So you think Belmont likes the stage, right? This is Belmont's best stage. Oh, and he's already he's he's employing the strategy yeah, already. There is no approaching this character, dude. Hamla, look, he's smiling. Hamla is loving this right now. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna run in and punish your dude. F this looks extremely frustrating. Roll away. And a character with better ground speed could probably get through this. Wow, that spacing was almost yeah, good. He's gonna get punished for that. I gotta see if this is like a delay. Yeah, like, really. Someone's got a delay because it's barely. I don't know what the crowd's going nuts about. Oh my god! It's oh. just like that. Popo's dead. Not gonna be. It's gonna be hard to get any percent and any combos now. But that stock Ooh. going in. He closed the gap, and now he just gotta make sure he doesn't get hit by an F tilt. Yeah, Hamma still trying to just create distance. Oh, here. the parry! Like a god, he says, "I'm parrying this." Yeah, that was a very good parry right there. So I want to see the stock with Sona. Wait, is this actually gonna happen? If S Lock can, he, he's keeping his cool right now. I, oh, I mentioned that comment go. earlier about his brain turning to push, back, but uh, I'll be also. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah they buffed it. the uh, the distance on that. Oh my god, that was an accident. He's off stage now. Okay, I want to see more Iceberg play from uh, oh, from man. S Lock. I'm pretty sure Iceberg can do a decent job camping him or uh, edge guarding him. Uh, anything can do a good job. Hopefully, oh F Lock's gonna kill. So, Not yet. Side oh. B and then the F smash does it. Yeah, he had to side B though. He was too far stop. out. So I mean, he actually did a pretty good job at racking off percent while uh, while solo because I'm pretty sure Hamlet was hitting at like 20 percent or something when he lost uh, his ice climber partner. Oh yeah, he went in the rest of that stock. Yeah, they're decent. What can he do? All right, stops the combo. They're on different platforms. That's the best way I've seen the Ice Pirates Edge Guard is they or uh desync? Like, yeah they desync on the platform covering. and that just kind of covers like everything off the ledge. Yeah. Which is awesome. Definitely. Another okay, parry. Yeah, dude, S-Lock's got these parries down. Which is really And he's, he's got the stock. And only 43% for making this even S-Lock is a man who plays with composure. Absolutely, and the cool part about this game is we have two more stocks to keep. Yeah. <laughs> really keep seeing Oh it. yeah, two more stocks to camping, my man. <laughs> I love Just it. Kidding. I want more camping. I want this to be our grand final. Dude, I am enjoying how Estoc is showing exactly how to get around this uh, this zoning right now. Yeah, because I him. sure don't do a good job exactly. at it. Exactly. If I was in this situation, I would definitely be panicking and saying, what do I do? How do I get out of the situation? Uh, but Estoc is seeing exactly Oh, what he, he reads needs the to jump doing. and gets him with a forward air. Also, Hamma is not really demonstrating their capa or ability to know how to deal with Ice Climbers when he gets close to him like this or when they get yeah. close. His options are he's. Oh, good down air. I mean, he doesn't really. Belmonts don't really have like the fastest close quarter, uh, close quarter combat option, do they? No, if one. Unfortunately, I mean that Belmont needs something to be bad, and it looks right. like the one thing is he struggled. Wow, that's yeah, recovery AI close quarters. Oh, oh no! Perhaps he, wasn't, back. perhaps he wasn't looking at Hama and didn't realize he was charging that, because it was definitely uh, shieldable. Oh. All right, well that's a good lead for Hama. Uh, oh, but Holy Water F Smash is damage. All these projectiles. Yeah, Hamma is feeling himself right now, and s -Lock is, uh... Yeah, but we were in a similar spot last time, That's too. true. That is definitely true, uh, and I think s -Lock is not thinking about Game 3 yet, because he knows there's still a possibility that he can bring this back. 
Oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you and, parry it. And the longer this game goes, uh, I think Aslox just gets better and better at parrying because Hamlet's just running him through the, the, the drills right now. That's actually all he's using this game for. He wants to go this game free just so he can learn it. See, I love it when Ice Climbers can do that. He's oh. not dead yet. Oh, down B. Ah! Ooh! Yeah, misses the kid up. That's gonna kill him, though. That's gonna kill him. Yeah, he's dead. And Estoc. One more Gimp. Has a chance. Yeah, one more Gimp. He can definitely do this. So I putting the damage in. Let's see how much Hanna can maintain his composure. Oh, That's a grab. in. He's, oh, Nair would have been really good on shield, but he's got another chance to grab him. Four Nair. Dude. Oh, wow. He get up jab is so smart. Yeah, the crowd is going absolutely nuts right now. I'm not sure who they want grab. to win. Oh, up air. Oh, wow. Good up tilt. Okay. Chasing him. Hamlin needs to get away down to the yep. ground. Oh, no. Ooh, yep. That's not with oh, the adaptation. No knows not to get hit by that. Punish. Oh, there's no punish on that. Oh, not going to get punished right there. They're separated. Oh, Look no. Look at this DC. coverage. That's fast right in his face. Up tilt. Up tilt. Up tilt. Oh, no. Ah. Goodness. He's running away. The Dude, only Hamlet one is the afraid way is a move right now. Oh, this is bad. This He's is bad. Dead. And that's oh going to stock and Hamlet taking it to a game three. Game that, three. That right there is the unreliability of Ice Climbers recovery that makes me not like playing them. Like, if they're not together in the way you want them to be, you're not making it back. And that is just terrifying as an Ice Climbers pl uh, player. So, this game is so stupid. Dude, regardless of who it. wins this game three, both players are playing out of their mind. There. I agree. Like, Esok, his like adaptation throughout the set has been fantastic. We saw him lose his life to a, to a partially charged F smash. From that point on, he made sure not to get hit by another one. Oh, he unless well, there was one that pushed him off stage towards the end there, which was bad. Um, but aside from that, he didn't he didn't get hit by a killing uh, F smash. No, no, that was. All right, so now we hear. Probably sticking with the same characters. Probably not seeing another triplat here from s -Doc. Uh I missed the character pick. All right, hey, uh, Nintendo Game Freak, if you're listening, could you please show us, keep the stage pick like on the interface yeah. up until the game starts, because I would like to know what they pick, because I missed it. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going Smashville, and you know what? This is a good counter pick for s -Doc. s -Doc, just because it is way harder to close the gap in. All right, I mean, it's easier to close the gap because there's not as much room to run around. Yeah, not only that, but he also has the platform to work with if he decides he wants to go for some more decent shenanigans. Oh my Midnair goodness. another grab. Four oh, air almost for a some good damage. Oh, but he spent his jump. And he's, he's dead. dead. And this is already like an explosive start for Estoc, only taking 12% on this first stock. And the thing is, Estoc doesn't have to play aggressive now. He can stay nice and patient. Right. Yeah, Hamma not looking anything like he did game two so far because Estoc just really came out the gates with clean execution. The best part about Ultimate right now, though, is this game is not over. Not yep. even close. There's so many. There's so much time. There's more stocks on the board. Yeah, and it looks like Estoc, despite this lead, is not just is not opting to just play uh, safe. He's still approaching. Which, if Hamma uh, decides to set up shop oh, the way he wow. was before, ooh, that's cute. That was cute. Yep, and like you said, it's already possible. Dead. Oh wow, he goes in. A little not spike. Dude, Again, yeah, every time. Oh, this is scary, though. Boys are good. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a punish. How's he gonna. Okay, yeah, he was going in. Those little F tilts or down tilts are really good at just like at poking tools, and they also send them at a really low angle. <laughs> I hear Globo. <laughs> Keep F tilting. That's, oh, man, that almost spiked. Yeah, I think no. that's. I, I'm pretty sure Nana has a spike hit box on hers. Yeah. Which is why people have elect to go for solo Nana. But okay, he's racking all this damage on with, so, with just one Ice Climber. Yeah, he's uh, he's feeling pretty good right now. Like this, that stock has, I think he, uh, so at first in the first game when he was like Hammer just running solo. away from this while he had a chance to edge guard. Yeah. Oh, the oh. exit takes stock. And that's like the first time that we've seen that stock get hit by that um, that aerial axe throwing like that. Because uh, normally he's done a pretty good job avoiding it. Ooh, good run up up to my stock <laughs> into the up air. Yo, what's up, T-Mac? <laughs> All right, it lands with a nair, hits him off stage. Oh, but that that returning, um, cross. what do you call that axe thing? Cross, yeah. yeah. Made it so that he could not apply pressure on the edge as much as he would have wanted to. Oh my gosh, he's pressured on the ledge, but he's doing a good job of boxing Estoc out of it every time he comes in. Yeah, Hemus actually, he's still in a really good position. Absolutely. And he, <laughs> oh my gosh, that oh, yeah. had me shook. 
He would have. He kind of like hit him with a mix up too. Like he chased after Popo, but then turned around and said, "Now you get the whip." He, now I totally would have got hit by yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Definitely would have got hit by it. Uh, F-Tilt's going to almost kill Popo, but right, we got a little bit of frame. So far, you guys don't see that at home. Oh, there we go. We Gucci. Uh, kind of. Oh, the F smash! It kills Popo, but Nana's living. Yeah, Nana's fine. Up, you're gonna get it on ledge. That's a nice quality of life buff that gave to um, Solo Ice Climbers oh, there. Yeah, but. This is still terrifying. How yeah, upbeat. Okay, what? He still gets back. Magnet hands keeping S stock alive there. And Hammers, now he's got his rhythm going again. Ooh, up till almost takes it two. Yeah, he's got the deficit, but he's still he's playing like he's in the lead. Yes. Oh, back air takes the stock. Yeah, but F stock sneaks in with that back air, despite the fact that he had a whip going to oh, his face. Oh, wow, he tried to parry it. And he takes a ton of damage. Yeah, and these players are already giving us quite the game three. Both of them playing just with their hearts out. Is that gonna kill? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere. He, Nana could have gone there. Yep. And over, already we are seeing a difference in the recovery when it comes to Smash Four and, and Ultimate. Now, after that early stock one death, I mean, Hamas got the lead. Yeah. I mean, it's a small one, but he definitely has it. Well said, Dimes. Don't forget the the immediate deficit that Hamas was put in from the very beginning. Oh, but he they is. don't have a jump. They're making it backstage. Oh my gosh, these projectiles! They're getting hit Jesus. by everything. Seventy-seven percent unanswered so far, and, and Popo Popo dies. Dead in there. And that is it too. And the zero to death from Hammer. Very, very impressive play by both players. And holy moly, we had quite he the game. He literally died at zero almost to start that game, and then finishes it with a zero to death of his own. And poor uh, Nana right there on your screen, crying out there without her buddy to cheer her up, dude. That was a good set.